I'm Mikey and you're watching City Lights on Nova's TV. Today we're at Rogers Arena for the student event of the year, We Day. Thousands of kids from around the province have gathered together for a day of inspirational speakers and performers. Now, you can't buy tickets for this event, they have to be earned throughout the year with the We Act program. We Day makes it cool to care. The Free the Children organisation behind it is about kids helping kids make an impact on the world. There are over 20,000 students and educators from more than 700 schools and they've come from as far as Whitehorse to be here. Since 2007, youth involved in We Act have achieved remarkable social change results. There's been $37 million raised for more than 1,000 local and global causes. 9.6 million hours volunteered for local and global causes. And 7.5 million hours of silence logged by youth who stood up for children in developing communities silenced by poverty and exploitation. 98% of participating youth believe they can make a difference following their We Day attendance. 80% of We Act alumni report volunteering more than 150 hours each year. There have been plenty of amazing speakers that were brought out today, including Kofi Annan. He is the former Secretary General of the United Nations and a Nobel Peace Laureate. I think the biggest challenge facing us and the future generation is the climate change. It's our environment. Climate change is an all-encompassing threat. It's a threat to our way of life, our security, it can lead to conflict with people fighting over limited resources. So we have to have a mind shift and change our lifestyles. We cannot continue to plunder the resources of the world as if there's no tomorrow. We have to think of the children. Martin Luther King Jr. the third was also here to speak with us. He's a human rights activist and the eldest son of the late Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. You see, my mother and father taught me that I must love myself, that it was important to love my family, that I must have a love of my community. And that's what this represents, freeing the children with We Day observers, loving our community. Because when you love your community, you don't accept poverty. You don't accept hunger. You don't accept bullying. You are the change that you seek. For the first time together on stage in Canada, the Grammy Award nominated and winning power couple Avril Lavigne and Chad Kroger performed their new hit single, Let Me Go. Headley was also here and they performed their hit song, Anything, with the St. James Music Academy. They also had the inspiring Spencer West. Canton, well, these are two words that I heard from the time that I was born. And at the age of five, I lost my legs due to a genetic disease. And after my surgeries, my family and I were told by the doctors that I won't be able to sit up, that I won't be able to walk, and that I can't and probably won't be a functioning member of society. At best, I would lead an inactive and uninspired life. But my family and I refused to accept that. So we set out to prove them wrong. And now, 32 years later, I stand here as living proof. I stand here that there is no can't, there is no won't, only how. Chris C was also here, a motivational speaker, and was accompanied by the Kenyan Boys Choir. Also on stage was Much Music's Coke cover winners, the Odaku Twins, who performed their rendition of Home by Philip Phillips. We were practically shoved into lockers. It was so uncool. Uh, you know, we couldn't, like, we knew that there was the, the Junos for music and there was, you know, like the uh, Grey Cup for sports, but where was the, the celebration for good, for volunteerism, for people who cared about causes? 
And, and, and that, when we looked around, we, we couldn't find it. And our dream today is to make it part of every childhood of a young person in Canada, where yes, you know, music is part of a well-rounded childhood, and academics is part of a well-rounded childhood, and sports is part of a well-rounded childhood, but so is service. And that's why we want to create this. This is the, the, the great cup of doing good. This is the Super Bowl of celebration of service. We want to show it's cool to care for kids. And so what drives this is the next 12 year old there who we know will carry this movement further than we ever could imagine. And the response in British Columbia, especially, we're across this country, but there is something in the water in BC. It is a hotbed <laughs> when it comes to socially conscious awareness, volunteerism, service, charitable giving. And we want to nurture that with the next generation of young people in this province. We Day is a stadium-sized educational event attended by thousands and watched by millions around the world. It's a global movement that was started by two brothers who believe the key to our future is the youth of today. There are plenty of great ways to get involved and lots of free resources available. Check out weday.com for all the details. Maybe you'll be here next year. I'm Mikey Evers and you're watching City Lights on Novus TV.